This is a quick preview um, of my nap and value angle selections, but for all our ITV races selections, please click on the link below. Hi betting experts, on Saturday the 24th of October, we're now going to have a look at all nine ITV races on Saturday, something for everybody, Cheltenham, Doncaster and Newbury, cracking competitive jumps action at Cheltenham and some really high class group and listed hand and handicaps at Doncaster and Newbury. The ground, Cheltenham just on the softer side of good, Doncaster a similar story and Newbury much more testing. Let's start off at Cheltenham in the 205, this is a Masterson Holdings hurdle race, a class two and this looks a really good opening for Dan Skelton's All Mankind to make a winning reappearance. Now he was something of a revelation for the yard last season, arriving from Michael Bell off the flat, unrideable, hard puller at home. They didn't fancy him at all first amount of work and he absolutely bolted in by half the track on testing ground, routing the field with a remarkable display. He followed up at Chepstow and at Cheltenham. Since then, uh, bolting up both times in fair company, he wasn't at his best in the triumph hurdle, perhaps unsuited by the hurly-burly of that race and well held in fourth when Goshen fell at the last, eventually finishing third. He's been off since, but he's working the house down at home apparently. This is his first time on a much better, drier surface and the way he goes through his races with loads of zest from the front should mean that that suits him. I think he'll make all the running here. The race is cut up, there's only seven runners and he looks a short price to make a winning return. Over to Doncaster, um, a really competitive card. Starting off in the 145 with our betting expert nap of the day here, I thought Les Ayres Just Frank held outstanding form claims. The yard does particularly well with limited resources and this progressive juvenile has really improved run to run. He finished last on his debut at a big price, but he's been a revelation since winning his last two. And the performance last time out at Newmarket, winning a £150,000 auction contest, beating 26 others in tremendous style, power and clear on the soft ground, marked him out as one to follow. He's up in listed company here and I think he'll take an awful lot of beating under a positive ride. The 220, a competitive sprint handicap but a good opening here for come from the dark of ed walkers he's our betting expert value angle selection on the day the yards had a terrific season on the turf and this handicapper looked one to follow when narrowly landing a wholesale gamble at haydock in september from count orsay he had excuses for a lesser effort under a negative ride at york last time out you can always forgive a horse a bad run there and he's got conditions in his favor here under the excellent tom Marcan. Best of luck with all nine ITV races on Saturday, betting experts.